Tell us a little about uh, what it's like uh, coming in and being a walk-on here. A uh, walk-on, it's about playing with heart. You start low on the totem pole. Um, you're not recruited very highly. Um, yeah. Well, you're not a walk-on anymore. <laughs> Yes, Walk-ons live their football careers in anonymity. They're worker bees on a budget. But now, if just for a few magical YouTube moments, they've become football rock stars. We're getting ready to award him a scholarship! Coaches have turned scholarship offers into covert operations, complete with hypnotists and the players are always the last to know. I sent Coach Rulovich a text and had said that, you know, I felt like I should be able to work instead of going to some meetings, and that was money that I needed to pay rent, and I was kind of stressing out about that. I sent him a text back and said, training camp's mandatory. If you don't want to be part of this team, just leave now. Your feet muscles. 20 Hawaii players were on the stage that day, but only one came out of his trance with a scholarship offer. gives you a, a great perspective on how lucky that scholarship athletes are to have their school paid for. Every spring and early fall, dozens of walk-ons' lives are changed. Welcome to their scholarship to Notre Dame. On behalf of the UT football program, I'm pleased to inform you that you are now uh -oh. I promise you guys, I won't let you. I won't let you. You down, and I appreciate this more than you can possibly imagine. Walk on see the practice field Monday through Friday, but rarely on game day. But their one moment can bring a team together. I'm excited to award you a scholarship to the yeah! He deserves it in every freaking way possible. Avery Williams! Yeah! This 53-yarder was for a full ride. <laughs> and then there's third stringer Justin Juneman, who in four plus seasons has never attempted a kick for Minnesota and probably never will. But he did make a great catch. It's one of my favorite days of the year. That moment when you see their face change and then you see the entire team come in. That's a, that's a real reaction. You see burden being lifted from them. That's a lasting impression on not only the person receiving the scholarship, but the family of that person. Look what, what it says, and then this popped up. <laughs> ah, you gotta be kind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to put Keontae Anderson on scholarship, and uh, his mother Tia works here at, at South Greenville Elementary School. He doesn't know it either. And Montgomery didn't know that Keontae was on the brink of quitting the team. Only a night earlier, Keontae had told Tia his financial aid had run out, and he had no money left to pay for his senior year. I didn't know what to do. I was like, Mom, like, how, what, how, what am I gonna do to get through this situation? If I have to work two or three jobs and I've done that, I had already made up in my mind, I was gonna go to the bank that day and put my car up for collateral. We were about to lose Keontae and none of us knew it. How we doing? You have such a fantastic son. We couldn't do a lot, but you're local. Yes. And we were able to get out and say, Happy Mother's Day to you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Keontae, guess what? I just got presented with the best Mother's Day gift ever. You're on a full scholarship for ECU, and your name and number is on this letter. I cried. <laughs> I cried for about five, ten minutes. Dreams do come true. How do you explain that outside of just a, just a miracle that's bigger than anyone here?